Last night, the president said testing and testing capabilities are expanding rapidly day by day. We are moving very quickly. But the numbers on the CDC, the official government website, tell a different story. The numbers suggest that the most testing was done March 5th. That was uh, from U.S. public health labs and CDC labs. The numbers were um, more than 1,100. Then if you move forward each day, it gets a little bit less until on March 10th, CDC labs zero are the numbers listed and only eight at public health labs. So why are the number of tests going down? Well, I don't believe they are, Allison. One of the things that we're actually working on is a central reporting uh, website where every state in the country and territory can can uh, can let CDC and the American people know the number of tests. But you're saying this uh, website, these numbers are wrong. Your, your, viewers should, your viewers should be encouraged that every state laboratory in America can conduct coronavirus tests today. Uh, we've also cleared out regulatory barriers to university hospitals and laboratories to be able to conduct tests. And I want to commend the University of Washington uh, for the extraordinary work they're doing, expanding tests to the people impacted in Washington State. Yes. Uh, we're also we're, but, but just to we're be clear, also uh, working, but just to be clear, let me say, Mr. Vice let President. Let me say this. Yeah. We're also working with commercial laboratories. The president brought in companies like Quest and LabCorp last week. And literally by the day, this weekend, both of those companies had approved new tests that are going to market literally by the day we're continuing to expand because it's going to be okay. ultimately it's going to be the commercial laboratories that have the capacity fair. to get tests that, that, all over the country. That's fair. So if but if and you're saying that the CDC website numbers are wrong, what how many tests have no, been I, conducted I, in the U.S.? I'm not saying they're wrong, Allison. I'm saying that uh, they may not be complete because we don't necessarily collect today all the information from okay. state laboratories about the tests updated. that are that's, being done. That's the same well, thing no, virtually. Well, as I said, our team is is working now to make sure that we that we have a central reporting location because state labs are doing tests all over the country, okay. even as we speak. That's good to know. And, but how and, many tests would you say have been done? Well, I, I, I would leave that to the experts. But I, I, I would say to you, as a benefit to your viewers, anyone who's looking on today who might be concerned that they were exposed to coronavirus uh, or have symptoms should call their doctor. Their doctor, with any question, can call their state laboratory and be able to find out how they can have a test process. But, but this is important, in short order. Mr. Vice President. Are but you saying that But making it available for the broader who, public. But are you saying that's that going to take a few more a days to get out to the broader public? The commercial labs in this yes. country, we're confident, are going to be able to produce and distribute on a wide range across the country in the days ahead. Okay. And not the weeks ahead, the days ahead all across this country. Okay, because that doesn't seem to be tests. the case right now. I mean, in all due respect, there are all sorts of anecdotal stories as well as op-eds, articles about people who had symptoms, went to their primary care physician, were told to go to the emergency room and could not get a test. So that's not happening yet today. Well, we, we think it's important that, uh, that last week uh, we changed the criteria for testing. I spoke to Governor Jay Inslee and there was there was some concern that, that uh, the guidance that uh, doctors had had at the time was if you were only mildly symptomatic, it did not indicate that a test was appropriate. We changed that, and that's when the president said that anyone who wanted a test could have one on a doctor's orders. There's no, no barrier to that now.